was under pressure. And a mistake by Nick Culkin. Gary O'Connor scores. And it's a howler by Nick Culkin. 15 minutes gone. O'Connor's third goal for Hibbs, and they don't come much easier than this. Put on a plate for him by the on loan Manchester United goalkeeper. Touched back to it by Marvin Andrews. And a swing at it, and just about missed it completely. And all Gary O'Connor had to do was stab the ball into the back of the net. It's 1-0. Trying to force a smile on Nick Culkin when all he wants to do is cry. David Fernandez, useful ball in. What a chance. Ian Murray did well against Michael Hart. He put in a stiff challenge for the cross. He had to because there was a real chance that uh, Hart might well have squared the game just a couple of minutes after the opening goal. Lovely ball in from Fernandez, asking to be tucked away. Didier Santini, that could be useful. Cold Wolves clearance, now Lovell, not quite quick enough as he plays his way back to sharpness, but he gets a second chance. And what a chance for the equaliser, missed by David Bingham. Stuart Lovell laid it on a plate. And he's so disappointed after sloppy stuff from Alan Orman, played Lovell in. And David Bingham will still be agonising over how he managed to miss this. Great chance for 1-1. I think I'm looking for his ninth of the season. I'm wondering why not. <laughs> Onside, David Fernandez. Is it 1-1 this time? No. Another incredible miss. Another chance to level the game. Missed by Livingston. Desperate defending from Hibbs there. Good work from Gary Caldwell to make it difficult in the end for Fernandez to squeeze this into the net. But that was the welcome mark being ruled out by Hibbs in central defence there. Colgan was beaten by Fernandez, but just wouldn't come down quickly enough going to knock the ball over the line. It remains 1-0 Hibbs. Touch from O'Connor to Brewster. Brilliant save by Nick Culkin. That will make him feel an awful lot better because Craig Brewster got everything behind this and it was heading into the top corner. So the keeper dived across to touch it over the top. Touched back by Brewster, John O'Neill, too high. Gary Smith, Gary O'Connor. Pink Brewster, such an intelligent player. Useful from O'Connor. John O'Neill, the miss hit, gives him another chance, which he takes, 2-0 hits, right on 45 minutes. In the end, it was a brilliant finish from John O'Neill. This was useful from O'Connor, wasn't it? Picking out O'Neill, he got the break of the ball, and from that point onwards, it was a bit of top-class finishing from John O'Neill, very composed spotting that Nick Culkin is a couple of yards off his goal line and the Livingston keeper beaten for a second time right at the end of the first half and 2 0 Hibs
Aquino, a drilled pass to Hart. Up ahead of him, Fernandez. They'd like to get an early goal back with Livingston to reinforce their belief that they can get something from this game. No shortage of ability in their side, that's for sure. Still Fernandez. Bags of aggression and determination to go with the uncounted skill. He wasn't giving this up. Holding off John O'Neill. Gary Colgo came to meet him. And it's the whole ricochet back. He was still going. Finally, knocked out of play by Gary Smith. They had chances in the first half to Jim Leishman's sides. They didn't take them. And now looking to create more opportunities. Onside, Fernandez. So close to 2 1. Steve Tosh tries to keep the pressure on. And a good header by Alan Orman. Aurelio was coming in behind him. This was the first effort set up by Kino's pass and one look Fernandez and then rattled the ball off the crossbar. Agonizing this for Livingston just when they thought they pulled one back. Brewster, O'Neill. Craig Brewster, far away. Good exchange, this, between two experienced heads in the Hibs team, O'Neill and Brewster. And not too far off target. O'Neill, flipped on for a corner. Gary O'Connor, very optimistic, 30 yards out, not short in confidence, the teenager. One goal already today, three for the season, and fancied four here. Way off, locked up by O'Neill, and Jack to De La Cruz. Behind Brewster. It's a miscue from Kino. Matthias Jack. Stopped by Kino. Level to Wilson. Fernandez. Won the corner kick. Good challenge though from Ian Murray. To prevent Fernandez turning that one into the danger area. Wilson's delivery. David Sousa seemed to turn away from that. And that has to go down as a chance. Missed by Smith, and Sousa wasn't expecting it, and it came off his arm. Whereas if he'd been able to see this one coming, it was a chance to hit a goal for Livingston. John O'Neill, Freddy Arpignon. Hope showing a fair bit of control here. In from De La Cruz, away by Santini. Gets another chance. Good running. And there's number three. And an own goal. Morton Pedersen marks his first appearance for Livingston by bulleting the ball into the back of his own net. It's turning into a nightmare afternoon, this, for Livingston. When you consider uh, Nick Colton gave away the first goal. And uh, here's another one presented to Hips. Good ball in from De La Cruz. Culkin was waiting for it as in flew Peterson to head the ball into his own net. 
It's 3-0 Hibs with just 13 minutes left. The confidence returning for Hibs. The corner against Andrews. The nutmeg. Finding Arpignon and useful effort as well from Gary O'Connor. He's a great boy. Sticking the ball through the legs of Marvin Andrews. But it almost came off when he got the ball back. Full time. The Hibs revival roadshow rolls on under uh, Bobby Williamson. Back to back wins, and both by three goals to nil against St Johnson last week and against Livingston here. The Ozone, O'Connor with number one after Kilkins Heller, O'Neill with number two shortly before the half time whistle. And thirdly, oh dear, for Morton Peterson on his first match for Livingston crashing a header behind his own goalkeeper in the second half and ensuring that there was to be no way back for Livingston. Three back-to-back -back defeats for them and victory for Hibs by three goals to nil.